Hi, this is Greg from Agal YMCA. I'd like to show you today something that I call the everyday warm-ups. Something that I recommend everybody do first thing in the morning to get the bone and the, the joints and the muscles moving uh, before you get on with your day. So to start, try to find an area in your home that's about 10 to 15 feet long with no obstructions in the area. Maybe a hallway or a living room would work really well. Or, if you can't find that, doing these just standing in place works really well too. If you're, in, if you're worried about balance, you have a balance issue, you may want to hang on to a counter or something so that uh, you're not going to worry about falling over. So to start, the first one is going to be a marching step. So starting off, knees up high, all the way down, and up the entire length of the hallway. Just gentle up and down. It doesn't have to be really uh, aggressive. The next one is going to be kicking to the back. Try to get your heel as high up as you can. Try to hit yourself in the butt. Alright, the next one, you can do it just by walking sideways, that works. Just bringing your one foot out and going out, and then coming back. But what I would recommend is stepping out, doing a little mini squat, coming together, stepping out, mini squat, together. And go all the way down to your end of your hallway. Now, when you get to the end, continue facing the exact same way and go in the other direction. Alright, now try to find something uh, to hang on to, something stable, maybe a chair or a um, banister would work really well. Just something you can hang on to so that you're not going to fall over. I'm just going to use this. I'm going to take my outside leg from the hand that's holding on to something. I'm going to go forward and back. Just forward and back. Do this about five or six times. And then I'm going to go out to the side. The hip is a ball and socket joint. So you really want to try to get that full range of motion in there. Again, five to six times. Then, stop and do ankle circles. Make sure that you're keeping your knee straight. You're not using your knee to do this. But try to pretend that your tip of your toe is a pencil lead and you're trying to draw a perfect circle in the air. Change directions and go in the other direction also. You may find one direction works a whole lot better than the other. That's okay. Now, switch to the other side. Forward and back. And then out to the side. Alright, full range of motion. Alright, then stop and ankle circles. Try to go in complete circles and then change direction and go in the other. Good. The rest of these are what sometimes called the, uh, the high school gym class warm-up. Basically, arms out to the side, small circles, getting bigger and bigger to get nice big circles. All right, back to the beginning, other direction. Small circles, getting bigger and bigger. Good. The next one, arm swings. Over and under. Sort of like saying, an umpire calling safe. Good. Next one, up and down in front. 
all the way up and all the way down. Next one, jumping jacks without the jumping. All the way up and all the way down. Shoulder blades, elbows in and elbows out. Move those shoulder blades back and forth. Right about now, shoulder shrugs feel good. Try to tell people to go from the back to the front and then switch and go from the front to the back. And since we did ankle circles, let's do wrist circles. One direction and then the other. Finish it off, just going to do torso twists. So there, in about seven minutes, we just moved every major joint in your body. So now, you're ready to go about your day. Have a great day.